the Apple iPhone 14 Pro is one of the fastest, most responsive smartphones today. But even if that's the case, there will always come a time when its performance starts to deteriorate, and it's not because it's defective but due to some apps and services that may have accumulated a lot of data already. In this video, we will show you what to do if your iPhone 14 Pro keeps lagging. But before we move on, please share, like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Now going back to our topic, here are the things you should do. First solution, close apps and then force restart your iPhone. There are times when there are already a lot of applications running in the background that your iPhone's performance drops. If this is the case with your iPhone, then you can fix it by simply closing all applications running in the background and refreshing the memory by doing the forced restart. Here's how. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Now, swipe up on every app preview to close all of them. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button and then do the same for the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds or until the Apple logo shows. Now wait for your iPhone to finish restarting. Once the reboot is finished, try to see if your iPhone still lags and freezes. Second solution, check your iPhone's storage and for new update. If your device is running low on storage space, it will also affect its performance. But aside from that, the problem can also be with the firmware, so it's better to also check for a new update and install it if possible. This is how you do those things. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Touch iPhone storage and check if there's enough storage. If you only have around 2 gigabytes, then delete some of your files to free up some space. Go back to the previous screen, and then touch software update. If there's an update available, then download and install it. After making sure that your iPhone has enough storage space, and that its firmware is updated, and yet its performance is still poor, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, reset all settings. If the first solution failed to fix the problem, then what you need to do is to reset all settings on your iPhone to make sure the performance issue isn't due to some inappropriate settings. This is how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset at the bottom of the screen to reveal all the options. Tap Reset All Settings and enter your security code if prompted. Tap Reset All Settings at the bottom of the screen and then confirm it by tapping the same option. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to use the phone as you normally would to see if the performance has returned to normal. Fourth solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the previous procedures fail to fix the problem, then you are most likely dealing with some major iOS flaw that requires a more advanced solution. In this case, your remaining options would be a factory reset and iOS restore. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down and tap transfer or reset iPhone. Tap erase all content and settings at the bottom of the screen. Tap continue and then enter your security code if prompted. Enter your Apple ID password and tap turn off at the top right corner of the screen. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset and then set it up as a new device. We hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful one way or the other. Have a great day.